before there was RuPaul's Drag Race, there were gender offenders. At the start of the new millennium, gender offenders were at the forefront of the New York City underground cabaret scene. We catch up with them during their first virtual meeting to discuss social media content for their upcoming film. As we enter the 2020s, which, so far, is off to a lousy start. Oh my god, so how is she holding up? Such a tragedy, it just really is. She's holding up well, as far as dead spouses go. Oh, hey, producer Danny. Oh, producer Danny, we were just talking about some of our friends who refused to wear face masks. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. Hi, could you all turn on your video? Um, my contract requires a proper introduction before we begin. Can you read what my publicist sent you? Oh, you're, you're right. I'm so sorry. I have your contracts right here. And let me get your audio specifications ready. Perfect. Okay, you all ready? Ready. 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 Okay. And now, please welcome to the Zoom call the... Oh, hold on. I'm so sorry. God damn it. And now, please welcome to the Zoom call the pop sensation for such hits as It Ain't New Year's Eve without black eyed peas and collard greens And I melt in your mouth, not in your hands You can see her on every Wednesday night at 9pm on the Soaps After Dark Network in the hit popular evening drama The Double Crossings of Twin Bridges Everyone welcome Candy Sample! Hey y'all, so happy to be here and now, welcome to the Zoom call, the performance artist who reached international acclaim for incorporating erotic phallic sculptures into her show, Oops, I Prolapsed Again. Her newest exhibition is called Cage GOP Cock, Not My Brown Children, known for her philanthropic ventures. She opened up a school for unwanted queer kids called the School for Unwanted Queer Kids. Everyone, welcome Sheik Anna. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm so excited. And last but least, please welcome to the Zoom call award-winning journalist and authoress of the book, Being a Queen on the Front Lines of Her Story, star of the CNN's The Sassy Report and the creator of the fashion brand House of Her Sass. Everyone welcome Sassy! Bill Coleman. Bienvenidos. Bonjour, everybody. That is a lovely outfit, Sassy. Is that Versace? No, it's for Sassy. I designed it myself. It's part of our work from home collection. Business on top, party on the bottom. <laughs> Sass, honey, you forgot your drawers. No, I designed it that way for people who work from home. You know, on like Zoom calls, tops only, no bottom. Just make sure you keep the cam above the equator. This isn't OnlyFans. Before we begin, I would like to do a land acknowledgement. Oh, no, yes, of, of a course. What? A what? A land acknowledgement. Let me like the sage. Will everybody please hold hands while we do this? Sure. Okay. It is important to acknowledge the land that we all drag on and the ancestors of this land. We should recognize the sacrifices that they endured for us to be here today. Let us also give thanks to our four drag mothers, warriors like Marsha P. Johnson and the person who invented tuck tape and Sylvia Rivera. Praise Wiwa. Amen. Strike a pose. Oh. You know, it's hard to believe that it's been almost a decade since you all worked together or even seen each other, right? Mm-hmm. Did Freed Films share with you what the title of your, our movie is going to be? Because yes. my manager has been trying to get in touch with them, but they've been very elusive with any details. Yeah, no, yes, they did. In fact, Freed Productions was thinking about calling it Gender Offenders. Um, huh? It's a bit basic, don't you think? Perhaps something more like gender offenders. Twelve. God bless you, Sass. I hope you don't have the Rona. Well, is that is that German? No, it's Quilf. Queens, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> I love it. 
fabulous. Takes me back to the spirit of what you do. But the F word, right off the bat, that's too offensive. We don't want to alienate our new audiences. Oh, please. If you're worried that we're going to offend people, you clearly have not done your research. It's what we do. It's kind of our brand. I do understand your concern. Even though our name is Gender Offenders, things have changed. I mean, in the last 10 years, so much has changed. Everyone is is offended so easily. It's it's almost too easy to offend people. It sort of compromises the art of what we do. But then again, some of us have evolved. Some of us. They're both right. Have you heard of AWPS? <gasps> is that a venereal disease? I did a story on it. It's angry white people syndrome. This just in. According to the CDC, over 74 million people in America are afflicted with angry white people syndrome, also known as AWPS. Symptoms include loss of mind, hate-induced vomit speech and poor judgment in fashion, hair, and home decor. Doctors around the world are working tirelessly to find a cure. Now the weather with our Doppler radar storm tracker 2000. That's right, AWPS is at an all-time high. In fact, our ratings have soared since the writers on My Soap created a dual role for me to play this season. My character, Missy Roussard, comes face to face with her long-lost twin, Karen Broussard. And she's this gun-toting, redneck wife to the Grand Dragon of Twin Bridges. It's a real stretch for me to play. Oh, a Karen. Karens aren't new, but they're definitely having their 15 minutes. Well, my wife's name is Karen. <laughs> I mean, some people might even consider our bachelorette characters from our show, Brides Gone Wild, the original Karens. Oh my God, Sassy, I just had an aha moment. Aha, Karen. Oh. Yes, those white privileged sorority girls that we played or whatever they were, they were totally Karens before we even started calling them Karens. Are we ready to do this? Is it time? Yeah. Well, shut the fuck up and get involved! Get involved! Oh my God, you get to get like scabies or something. Oh, scabies are for like poor ethnic kids that run around naked in the mud. Ew! Gross, ethnic kid. <laughs> now, how do you incorporate those characters into new sketches? Hmm. You know, normally we would have a little like brainstorm session, but maybe mm. we could play three Karens on a hunt for Nancy Pelosi, huh? Maybe we could write a sketch called uh, Three Girls in an Insurrection. <laughs> More like three girls with erections. Oh my God, I love it and I got it and I have one. Oh my God, I know what we can do. We can call it an insurrection of erections and we can use my beautiful pink penis sculptures. I get the big one. (laughs) You always do. Great. That's a great idea. Go with your strengths. You know, Candy, what about featuring some of your music? I really love that last one you did. What was it called? Um, Are you talking about which bathroom should I use? The gender neutral one, girl. (laughs) No, that was great. Not that one. The other one. The one about to stand back and stand by the do, da, do. Brown Mary Boys. Yes, that's the one. I love it. Fabulous. Reminds me of the song that you used to perform down in Christopher Street. What was it? Uh, Catch the Bouquet? Don't try and stop me, girl. Don't hate or else you'll really be my bird. Call it catch, catch, catch the bouquet. No, I still wear that down. Catch, catch, catch the bouquet. I'm gonna tear up this town. Oh my God, I love that song. Catch the Bouquet was a huge hit for our all-girl group, The Corsets. Huge. 
that huge, right? Huge. We created it, producer Daniel, in response to the fight for marriage equality. Do y'all remember when we couldn't get married? Those were dark days for the homosexuals. How many years did we spend protesting? I mean, it took forever for marriage to finally pass. And you know, not one Dunfold or Capitol stormed back then. Can you imagine if we showed up at our legislative buildings um, armed with guns to plead for our marriage rights? I mean, come on, an AK-47 would never even fit in my clutch. I just did an undercover, in-depth investigative report on paranoid American gun culture. And I just have to say, after my extensive research, I have concluded the bigger the gun, the smaller the penis. Yeah, sadly. I, I think that folks would just love to see your current attitudes inform some of your most classic characters, like the USO girls. No, or the no, no, no. producer Danny, I feel like we need something opposite, something fresh, something new. What about a reboot of the rear view? I don't know about that. What about a reboot of the rear view? Reboot of the rear view? Reboot of the rear view? What about a reboot of the rear view? A reboot of the rear view? I was told we would not be talking about that. Girl, I gotta meditate. I gotta meditate on this. You can talk amongst yourself. Sorry, sorry. What happened between the girls on the rear view? Will gender offenders ever decide on content for their social media? Is angry white people syndrome recognized by the medical community? Find out on the next episode of Thank You For Being a Gender Offender.